Hello and welcome to episode four of the Chat Sphere. Today I've got another new guest. I like that we have new guests just about every episode so far, which is cool. Hoping to keep that kind of idea going. Um, but today I have Corey, our world famous singer of the year. <laughs> Hell you, yeah. uh, introduce yourself. I am the Corey the Cool. I make music and I write very sad songs because I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. Well, We'll see. Yeah. They're um, very good songs. I've listened to quite a few of them. Um, how many listeners have you been getting lately? Right now I'm at 62 monthly listeners. It's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. They're Iced Tea Lemonade. So. Iced Tea Lemonade. That's your new song, right? That is my new song. That's your new song. So my question is, how do you, how did you get into it? How did you get into doing music? Um, well, it was in high school. I was about a sophomore. Mm -hmm. um, my friends were in band, which we went to school together, so this, this is man true. was in band as well. Went to high school together. And um, they were just doing music as like a joke and stuff, and then me and my buddy Bryce, we uh, just started taking it serious and got our stuff together, and just been me and him making shit. That's awesome. So, uh, what, what sparked you to kind of want to do it? I've always liked singing, no. uh, especially when I was a kid, because, you know, I was into that Bruno Mars brother. Dude, we all were into Bruno I'll Mars. I'll catch a grenade for you. Dude, I'd catch a grenade for you. <laughs> Stop, you're going to be blushed. can't be flirting on the podcast. Sorry. <laughs> I this was a Tinder date. I mean, they're about the same anymore. Mostly podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, so what What kind of, what goes into your music making? Like, uh, I guess we start with writing. Like, how do you... I don't even know, brother, to be honest. I just, well, if I don't have a beat, um, I usually just find a beat on YouTube and then just try to write something. Sometimes the beats will have names, and I'll take the names of those and make it a topic and then just go off of that. Okay. So that's pretty much all it is. I mean, it's just a bunch of freestyling, and I suck at freestyling, but that's kind of what you have to do. I mean, I, I feel like it always starts off as quote-unquote sucking, but it... I think as you get the rhythm into it, it gets easier, right? Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, there's definitely times that I've had writer's block, and like I stopped doing shit for like a year and a half because I just didn't have everything I wanted, and like production-wise. But we that's got fair. that sorted. So yeah, without the equipment, that sounds. Oh yeah, awful. it was hell. God. But it's 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 got to be fun, kind of like moving up and progressing. Oh yeah. Like it, even through this, like it start out with a camera and a few mics and. Absolutely. Now I've got lighting. It's only up from here, Nikki. Come yeah. on. We you got hope, it. Unless I run into that writer's block you were talking about. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck writer's block. It's my arch nemesis for real. Yeah. yeah it's, I feel like the hardest part is going to be coming up with like mini games and stuff. Um, like, coming up with stuff to talk about isn't too difficult. Right. There's always something going on. Oh, yeah. Like, um, we'll get into it with uh, the, the new Sonic movies and stuff. And Fuck, yeah. How uh, Jim Carrey's coming back. I can't wait. Um, but there's always something. So talking wise, it won't be that bad. But yeah. challenges, there's always so much you can do for a video that'll still kind of work for a um, just an audio like listener as well. Yeah. Although I, I'm sure there will be some where there's going to be a, it's going to be more video quality versus audio quality. But it is what it is. You're gonna need your Jamie, man. Come well, on, get your Jamie. Jamie. Maybe we'll make Sean Jamie. <laughs> Sean would Sean, be great. Jamie. Sean can be my guy in the chair. <laughs> the guy in the chair. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. Would be good. How is Sean? He's he's good. He's good. Um, we so last episode we talked about Power World and Pokemon and stuff, and we had talked about playing Power World. But right after that episode came out, I had to go on a work trip. Mm -hmm. I was gone for a week. I remember. You're supposed to hang out with us. What yeah, happened? I, I know. But. Uh, <laughs> After that, I came back exhausted from driving. It was a four-hour drive there and a four-hour drive back. So it was, it was wild. I learned how to use cruise control, though. There we go. So that Finally. was good. Finally. It was good. But, uh, yeah, no, it was, I was exhausted when I got back home. And then Saturday, I had to go pick up a chair for my dad. So it was, it's been a weekend. That sucks. But it's Super Bowl weekend. That's true. Um, is as the day that we're filming this is Super Bowl Sunday. 
I, I have no idea who's playing. I, it's, I'm I think sorry. the Chiefs and the 49ers? Question mark? Maybe. You, you're asking the wrong person. Yeah. I know one of them is the Chief. I, Taylor Swift's the one that's with the Chiefs person, right? Uh, his name, Travis something. Is it Travis Kelsey? Am I stupid? I think that's right. Maybe. I don't know. Hopefully. I don't keep up with sports or Taylor Swift, unfortunately. Get it together. The Swifties are going to fucking annihilate me. <laughs> <laughs> Burn them at the stake. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot to set up the timer. So that's well, probably, that's okay. It's okay. That's probably a good five minutes. We'll just have five minutes where we're at. But, um, yeah. I, I don't know. Typically, my family does. We, um, We'll do bets on the Super Bowl game. We don't really watch football right. in general, but we watch Super Bowl because it's fun. We'll party. It's the final one. Um, so we'll typically do bets. I don't know who we're betting on this year, considering we don't know who's playing. <laughs> I'm just going to say the Chiefs because I forgot the other team. Well, it, here's my thought with it. And it might be a conspiracy, might not be. It could just be business. I think it's all planned out. I think the Ooh, whole you're calling it rigged. I think the whole announcement is planned out. Maybe. I, I, don't you know, know. The thing, I don't want to say it's rigged because it's not rigged against teams. Like it's not like the teams don't know they're gonna lose. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a script almost. Like WWE. Yeah. Can I get John that. Cena in the Super Bowl. You wouldn't be able to see him. That's true. Think about <laughs> it though. He could be there. He could be there. Imagine we just don't people know. being flipped over. <laughs> <laughs> Tackled out of nowhere. God, speaking of John Cena, Peacemaker season two. I didn't see season one. Uh, come on. Do you know on, he man. stole the helmet? Not stole the helmet, but he took the helmet with him. Good. He, he deserves. He it. was supposed to leave it. Dude, I love Peacemaker. But um, you know, I'll have to watch that. But back on the Super Bowl thing, um, with it being scripted, and with the whole thing being around Taylor Swift and um, Kelsey, they're not gonna let the Chiefs lose. We'll see about that. They're not going to let lose. If they lose, I might have changed my mind about it being scripted. All I know is that man's getting crazy ahead if he wins. <laughs> <laughs> but if he loses, they might break up. He's getting a rim job then. Imagine, <laughs> no, imagine the breakup song because he lost the Super Bowl. Oh, God. That would really... But there's the, I saw something, too. If he wins... Someone was like, I don't want to see him go on one knee and propose with the Super Bowl ring. Didn't they just start dating? I don't know if he's going to propose it. I mean, it's Taylor Swift, so maybe. Yeah. We'll see, we'll see. When it comes to the celebrities and stuff, I'll, all of that goes real quick. Yeah. I, and then they're not with each other a year or two later. If it lasts that long. True. So, but I don't know. I, I think it's scripted. I think the Chiefs will win just because Taylor Swift's kind of big around this whole thing. Mm. But... We'll see. I don't know. Another thing with that, that you see that she's like taking private planes or jets and helicopters to every game. I did not. I didn't even know she was going to the games. Yeah, she's gone to every one that he's been in, apparently. And um, the amount of money she just put into taking uh, jets and stuff. Because Twitter's blown up with her like fuel. Well, she does got the money, so. That's true. One day. One day. One day. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. You're already a famous singer. That's true. <laughs> right here. <laughs> this is my whole audience. Just Nikki. You're just, my, you're my 62 monthly listeners. <laughs> I might be. I might have made 62 different accounts. That you know, I appreciate that. I need that. <laughs> I wonder if that would even work. I don't think so. Maybe. Well, I guess if it's a different account, yeah. But I know you can't just like loop a song and it gives you streams, unfortunately. Or I'd be doing that now. I wonder if there's a way to kind of... God, we're, we're coming up with these ideas and Spotify is going to cancel everything <laughs> out after. But what if you made like a playlist of a bunch of different artists and looped that? Would it stream the person because it's different songs? Because I, I listen like, to the same songs all the time. So what, you have like four different playlists and they just go off of each other? No, no, like you have one playlist oh, with like okay. four or no, five I, different I know what you songs mean, from different artists and you just loop that. Maybe. I don't know. You know, possibly, because it does go to different songs instead of just replaying the same one over and over again. That might work. You know what? And on that Let's scam Spotify. I'm not, I'm We're doing that we're right now. scamming Spotify. <laughs> and on that same token, what if you use the same artist but different songs? I think that could work. That, that should work. The next time you put out a song, we'll test it. Okay, I bet. I'll set up a... Now, you know what? If they can rig football, we can rig Spotify. 
Oh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. We're scripting the <laughs> views yeah. coming in. I'll uh, I'll buy a month subscription for a new account. We'll see if uh, whenever you put out your new song, which we can talk about that, because you talked about writing one. Oh yeah. Um, we'll we'll set it up so we loop. We'll do like a week of just your songs in a playlist, and we'll do a week of uh, we're putting this to science. Hell we're experimenting. Yeah. But um, not because I'm intrigued on that, because that could probably work with YouTube and stuff too. Then wait, if we put this out and Spotify hears this, I'm, my account's getting banned. I hope you know. <laughs> it will get banned. I don't know. You can't stream bots, unfortunately. No. But I don't. I don't know. I don't think that would ban your account. They might patch it. I think it does ban your account if you have enough bots and they see. Well, yeah. If you were to buy bots, but if yeah. you were to do it, if you were to have a friend that's doing it. You know, you're right. If it is just one person. I don't know. I've never really looked into it. I don't be marketing myself too much. No, that's for, that's up to you, Spotify. You can either on, patch it or you on, can Spotify, help me out here. Or you can be a real one and let us uh, test things and hopefully up his views. He deserves it. He makes good music. Thank you. Thank he works you. hard. Uh, <laughs> Do I work hard or am I hardly working? Come on, Nikki. Or hard at work working. Well, I'm always hard, you know that. I'm edging right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. I'm serious. Look down. <laughs> oh, God damn. I told you. Thank you. <laughs> been working at it. You've been working at it? Cock pumps. Pumps? Yeah. Oh, you don't take the pill anymore? <sighs> don't tell everybody. That. Come on. <laughs> Actually, you know, when I get out of the shower, I just kind of get hard, and then I use my cock to lift up the towel. You know what I mean? Oh, muscles, yeah. Muscles. Dick ups. Right? Dick ups. That, that's what they're Exactly, called. yeah. This podcast is degraded. We've gone from <laughs> eating human flesh episode one, shit talk for episode two. Three wasn't too bad. Three, I think three we were trying to boost people from degrading themselves. Episode four is apparently cock talk. <laughs> Dude, cock topic. Oh. New name for the channel. No, that's the topic. Just cock talk. We cock got talk. <laughs> Hell yeah, there you go. There's your name. <laughs> so we've got... Cannibalism, shit talk, cock talk, and grocery store horrors. That's that's part of shit talk. Whatever. The same difference. Oh man. Speaking of fucking shit talk and. I thought you were gonna say speaking of cock talk. No, <laughs> no. We, I think we're past that now. Damn it'll 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 come back. It'll around. rebound. But um, on the way back home from the um. Work trip, where I had to drive four hours, I. Going there, I didn't need to make a stop. Which Wait, was what did you do, actually? It was a class. Oh, so okay. it, was, it was training um, for a certification. So that'll be, it'll be cool. I got to do the test on Monday, though. Good luck, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. But on the drive back home, I took a stop because I had to use the bathroom. It was a gas station. It was one of, like, the duos where it was a gas station and a mm. subway. Yeah. I go in the bathroom, just full-on turd on the ground. <laughs> Did you leave it there? Yes, I left it there. I should have ate it. It's not chocolate. <laughs> I don't know who's shot you, know, you never know if you don't try. We're going to have to go back. <laughs> we'll make it a clip. We'll go back and eat the turd. <laughs> that was in the subway gas station <laughs> duo bathroom. <laughs> God. God. Oh, well, did he have enough fiber? Or what? Was it like diarrhea? Or like what was it? It was a turd. Just like It this? wasn't wet. It was, yeah, it was, it was a typical turd. Okay. And I just... It was behind the sink too, which is weird. Like it wasn't what? by the <laughs> toilet, because like if you don't, if you've got like an if idea you gotta of the go, bathroom, you gotta go. Here's the sink, right? Here's the door. You walk in, toilet's right there. There's another uh, urinal right here, but the actual toilet's right here. The turd was like right under the sink. I don't know how it got there. He probably kicked it away. He was embarrassed that he missed the toilet. Or came out of his like pant leg. Oh god, that's happening. Kroger so many times. Some of these customers, With you? man. No, whenever. Oh. No. <laughs> I was like, hold on. I'm not sick. shitting my pants. I'm That's not Austin. shitting my bed. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. But, um, you know, we, we had looked at the cameras one time because there was a turd that just magically appeared on the carpeting on the far side. And we, d we didn't know. We wanted to know where it came from. So we had one of the managers look it up. Mm -hmm. And there it is. You, you see someone walk past. It was an older man. He walks past, there's no turd. Walks past, boom, turd. <laughs> Came out of his pant like You could see it roll out. The camera quality isn't that good, but you could see it roll out. That's fucking hilarious. 
it it killed me. Um, I think someone had gotten on video, but I don't think any of us have that video anymore. But uh, I I couldn't imagine. <laughs> Turn, dude. Then there's another store. Dude, this we've degraded to shit talk again, which is fine. Where it's streamed all the way across the, of the front of Plural. It, oh, it was God. A, I think it was in a different store. He left store. the snail trail? Yeah. It was like like he was dragged almost. Oh, damn. He's like a dog. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dragging his ass across the floor. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. God. <laughs> I've been there. You know me. Dropping it on the floor. Hell yeah. In a you know, subway I mean, gas you, station. If you run out of toilet paper, what are you going to do? You still make it into the toilet. That's not, not the me, issue we're man. talking about. Not me, We're man. not talking about wiping our ass. We're talking about shitting into the toilet. All right, now let toilet. me ask you a question. When you take a piss, right, do you always wash your hands? Be honest. Sometimes I'll use sanitizer. But that's if I'm at home. Be honest. Come on. You don't always that's wash your hands. Sometimes I use sanitizer. Do a Jim Halpert real quick. Uh huh. I did a Jim Halpert. Looked at the camera and then <laughs> it just zooms in. <laughs> yeah, no, I I always do one or the other because that's couldn't be me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like having dick hands apparently. Hey man, I don't. I feel like you know cool. what? I could eat off my dick. That's how clean it is. Considering things we won't go into on that topic, I know that's false. Fuck you. <laughs> you don't know where I've been. That's the problem. He does, unfortunately. That is the problem. Oh, man. But, yeah, it's... God, we did This just took a turn, oh, yeah. We took, like, seven turns. It always goes back to shit. Always. Well, it's the best talk. It is. I mean, there's nothing better than alleviating yourself. <laughs> well, there's a G spot there for a reason, Nikki. Let's be honest. Do you guys have a G spot? Yeah. Do they? Yes. How, why? If your poop hurt, you wouldn't want to poop anymore. I don't. That's not the same. It thing. eases you. It eases. I don't think there's a it's G spot. A, in there's your a G asshole. spot in your ass. Trust me. I mean, yeah. My, my friend told me that. Oh. I heard from someone yeah, else. It's from a friend. Just <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess we'll go back to the music since we've spiraled out of fucking control. Shit, the straight music. Um, so you you started writing a new song the other day. I did. I write a thousand songs every day. To be fair, none okay. of them make the cut. Make it's got to be a very good song. So right, how do you it. how do you choose what songs make it or don't? Um. Fuck, that's a good question. I don't know, honestly. Sometimes I like Ice Tea Lemonade, like that. That this is the newest song I've released. Mm -hmm. That was made three years ago. Yeah. So three I mean, years ago, and you're yeah. just now posting it. Yeah, like the lyrics were wrote three years ago. I mean, it just uh, it's what if I'm feeling it or not. Like I'll make a song, love it one day, and then the next day I'm like, I hate this fucking song. Was it after you've already gone through and like done the whole? No, it's usually like, like I'll go to the studio and then we'll start because I don't like buying beats because that's cost money and I'm a broke boy because I only have 62 monthly listeners on Spotify. I know you can buy like, so for the background of the last episode I had um, royalty free stuff. Which you can just buy well, back up. the problem with that, I guess yeah, royalty free could work, but a lot of beats on YouTube they say they're free, but they're not free for profit use. So That's you actually true. have to buy them. And so I'll like find a beat on YouTube, I'll listen to it, I'll write lyrics to it, I'll finish the song, and then I'll go to the studio and I'll have my buddy, the producer, uh, he, he'll make a whole new beat, recreate it, and like change it up so it doesn't sound the same, but it also like, you know doesn't sound completely different because I did write it to that beat and I kind of want the same flow and the same key but we definitely add a lot of stuff or at least we try to and then there's some cases like Ice Tea Lemonade where this guy uh, I forget his name I started with a T but uh, he went to school with Bryce who went to uh, Blackbird Academy and uh, this dude's a guitarist Mm -hmm. So he sent us a bunch of guitar samples three years ago, and we made the Icy Lemonade beat to that. 
And he's been sending us more stuff, so I'm pretty That's excited cool. to be working with that because none of us play guitar, so we're on, only piano. On that note, funny enough, um, I plan on relearning guitar. Hell so yeah, send me some fucking samples. I do gotta learn it first. Well um, then learn it. What are you waiting for? I've got a acoustic one in the storage unit right now that we got from my aunt. And I had learned guitar, rec or not recently, originally in middle school. Because I was a band in middle school too and they gave that as an option. Mm -hmm. as like a, one of the side classes because that's when they introduced taking the extra like little ones. Right. Um, I learned a few songs, uh, but it's it's been so long that I don't. But because I know how to read sheet music, I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to pick back up. So. No, it's pretty awesome though. Yeah. If that, I love guitar. If that I wish I knew how to play. To, I will. Hopefully, be able to send you music to use. Absolutely, I'll take all I can get, man. That'd be cool. We definitely need a guitarist for our studio because we only have a piano, piano man, Elton John. So. Elton John. Get the big, like, bright pink glasses. I think he has some, actually. That's funny. Uh, yeah. And we had talked about possibly doing a collab later in probably the year anyways, so. Yeah, it'd be fun. If I can get the guitar and that going. That, that'd never be sick. know, man. That'd be sick. Hell yeah. That and I've got the new mic coming in, too. Hell yeah. Well, don't know when we'll technically, test those out, we won't really need a mic if we go to the stew. We got a thousand. Well, if we do stuff outside the stew. That's true. Like, if I make you samples and stuff, I probably Oh, yeah, you, you want to. Yeah, but you could also, like, if you are doing samples and, like, we're working on a beat together, you could always just go to the stew and then just record it with our stuff. But That's true. either way, I work, so next give me some stuff, man. I'll do it. Next podcast, look forward to... Uh, well, next podcast with Corey, look forward to us possibly being in a studio, so that'd be cool. That would be dope, yeah. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it this week. We had some a band come from Tennessee up to the studio, and they're recording right now, so. No. That's still cool, though. Yeah, I, I don't think they're, they're like an indie band, so they're not, I don't think they're popular, but they're not bad. I don't, get there. I don't I mean, know their names, though, unfortunately. I didn't get to meet them. Everyone starts low. It's, it's a progression. I mean, this isn't, I this mean, isn't anything. We're huge. a long way from SoundCloud. I miss that. Yeah, that's true. You're actually kind of making money on it now, right? Not much. But it's eventually, eventually. SoundCloud, you didn't make anything. Definitely, right? I've, uh, I mean, I've been making music for, what, six or seven years, but I didn't really start taking it serious until about two years ago, and now I'm actually starting to put stuff out and mm -hmm. getting the stuff done. The only problem I have right now is all like my producer he goes to school so he's busy um, most days and so the only time we really have to go in there is on like a Saturday or something right. so if I don't get anything done that Saturday then it just I gotta wait another week so that's why a lot of stuff ain't coming out fast but if I could hang out with him more often a lot of stuff would be d getting done I mean it's probably better that it's got time in between because you want in my experience with like listening to music and singing stuff or creating anything honestly you want it to marinate anyways right so it's, it's good to that's my problem I don't stuff. like marinating like I want to get stuff out there but I know like people need to listen to the song I just want to die off like I like the hype I'm getting and then if I don't release something for two months I feel like I'm just gonna oh, right is that how long it typically takes about two months usually yeah usually I put out a song every two months sometimes every month like uh, last year I almost had a song every month Mm -hmm. which I was trying to do, but I unfortunately missed a couple of weeks of the stew and couldn't have uh, time to get the stuff mixed. Speaking of mixing, Bryce does not do the mixing. My buddy Jackson Gordon does, who also makes music under Jackie G. Sorry, I gotta do a shameless plug for him, because I okay, said I would. Mind. Well, we should have him on. I would love to. Yeah, I think he said he'd love to, actually, so that'd be dope. If Maybe I we can do like a whole like collab with all of us and get into the music. Yeah, if I get the mics set up and ready by the time we do that, then... Uh or we could also use the studio mics. Yeah, that'd be we perfect. We could uh, do maybe three or four of us. Yeah, that'd, that'd be cool. cool. That'd be cool. But cool. yeah, he mixes all my stuff. And I don't have to pay him, but I do. Because mixing is actually a lot of work. And mm -hmm. I love what he does, so I'm going to pay him for what he does. Right. I wonder if it'd be possible once, I mean, once I kind of get an idea of the music scene and stuff, because if we do collab later, mm -hmm. well, I wonder if we could do stuff where we could kind of record ourselves outside of the studio, that way you get more stuff out. Right. Have Jackson. Yeah, like another bedroom studio or something would be right. nice. 
because that's like really the big issue is just having a place to record like my house is not like soundproof like my walls are thin mm -hmm. um, I have a window right next to me it just doesn't work so I mean we could also try to find places I think where we're at right now I think there's rooms that we could rent out to do that that'd be dope so I'll look into that but like I have like I, I have because I, I had an apartment I mean not too long ago and I have stuff for a studio mm -hmm. uh, for like a, bed, like a bedroom too. studio yeah and you gave me some soundproofing stuff when uh, I it was like two Christmases ago something like that or it was my birthday, birthday something like that I mean right around the same time right. um, but yeah I have stuff for all that I just gotta get a new place and uh, Get that all set up again and then that'll fix a lot of the issues and then I can record at my house when Bryce isn't free and then what I'm thinking of doing is like if I'm not working on an album or something go to the actual studio that's like soundproofed and glass panels and console and all that stuff work on an album there and then stuff I want to put out as singles I can work on my bedroom and just send it to Jackson and then Bryce could make a beat or I can buy one I don't know but yeah that's my plan pretty cool Sorry, I got a burp. That's all right. I just did it a little earlier ago. So it's fighting. Hopefully the mic picked it up. Of course. People want to hear that stuff. ASMR. Burp, I don't, does burping count as ASMR? I mean, I'm sure someone's Maybe into that. somebody gets aroused from it. And that somebody is me. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be listening back to this. He's going to be my 99 You're damn viewers. You're right. <laughs> yep. But. <laughs> um, let me think. There was, there was another thing I was curious about in this singing. Um, so a lot of your stuff is more like rap based, right? It's more pop. Is it? Well, I guess it's like a little bit of both. It's more like Kid Leroy's kind of style. Okay. I love Kid Leroy, so. When it comes to like melodies, when you have to like kind of raise and lower, mm -hmm. do you write it out on like sheet music almost where you know you have to, or do you just? Nah, I just kind of do it. Like I'll find like a flow, like I'll like, mm -hmm something like that and then I'll start adding words to it and then if I'm like oh this needs to sound like more powerful or something I'll try and do something louder and make it you know but yeah finding flows is uh, at least for me that's the easiest part is finding the flow the hardest part is definitely writing the lyrics no so I mean I can imagine <laughs> yeah um, lyrics are a struggle yeah I, and I was wondering about that because a lot of people don't write their own music so True. with the people that get lyrics off someone else I wonder if they have like the melody written on sheet music like you would read sheet music possibly I don't know I know a lot of people that do have like ghost writers like they do have a part in writing the lyrics um, which would be nice to have <laughs> no. but I don't have a ghost writer so I kind of have to do it all myself at the moment mm -hmm. but one day maybe but no I kind of prefer writing lyrics myself because I mean, it just means control. it's more meaningful to me, and I like making relatable songs. I mean, you got full control of it. You can kind of put your own heart into it. Exactly. So I'm also really bad at criticism, so <laughs> it helps that you know I'm making it myself. I mean, I feel like you've you've gotten better with criticism. You oh, ask yeah. us all the time. That's true. You yeah, it. I used to be really bad. I used to, I'm very stubborn, so when I'm like, this sounds great, I'm, I'm the like, same. This way, sounds so great, okay. but. Then I eventually grew up a little bit. I'm like, okay, they were right. This does sound like ass. <laughs> so, I don't even sound like. But ass. yeah, I, I mean, I'll have you or Lawrence or Austin or Josh, like, or Bryce or any of any one of my friends. Just if I have like a lyric that I need like helped with, I'll be like, what should I put here? I mean, you guys helped me out, so I guess you technically could be ghostwriters for one word. So I don't know if that counts. I think we're just kind of like background. It, I don't think it counts, but it, I, it's just a little. Something, something. Right. I know. I uh, for a song that I made, Josh wrote one word, and I told him I put him in the credits just so he had his name on there because it's funny. funny. That is funny. So, yeah. 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 I, I as much that. as I hate writing lyrics, I still love it. I mean, yeah. you gotta, or what are you doing it for? You know. That's kind of how I am with this. Is I, I like that. I like the idea of doing it with a group. <clears throat> I've got a buddy that does it with a group. But it's it's cool. I enjoyed watching. I had to watch the second episode, but his first episode was pretty good. I, Do I know them by any chance? No, probably not. But um, it's 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 cool. It's not so much 
what I want to do for mine. I like the idea of having one or two people on for a lot of these because it right. brings out, it, it gives them the spotlight, kind of mm -hmm. gives them stuff to talk about, and it is just a chat. Uh, but I forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah, so it, I kind of like that I'm doing it on my own, where I've got kind of the control of the flow. It feels of how good. Go. It feels good. Yeah. And then um, it, it just it's it's nice. It's nice to be able to kind of keep a flow how I want it to go, and yeah. I don't have to worry about things not happening when I need them to, or mm -hmm. things falling apart. Mm -hmm. It's 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 smooth. Right. Although, setup is a pain. Yeah, you fuck missed, the setup. <laughs> you yeah. missed all that. Especially with this damn banner. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a great banner. It's just, you can't really see it there. I'm using it to cover something. But um, <laughs> it's... It's his porn. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to put up when you're moving from place to place to do these. So it's, it, it'll be used in a few. We just got to figure out which ones it'll be used for. I'm sure we can figure out how to use it in the studio, that'd be cool. Yeah, I, I got a spot for it. Yeah. You'll have to come over and check it out. You haven't been to the studio yet, so. That's true. We'll have to make a plan for it that would be dope. soon. Maybe yeah, we'll I want to get little, everybody over there. We'll do a little clip where you can see all of us at the studio checking it out for the first time or something. That'd be dope. We, you, can, you can hear us, kind of the background of us talking about how we'll set up the next episode. I still want to, I can't remember what your clip thing was going to be called, man. I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. God. We'll put, if we figure it out for this, so we'll, funny. we'll put it on that. But um, I'm thinking about setting up almost like a collapsible like PVC kind of system mm -hmm. so that I can make it like a stand. So the idea would be like a square and two pegs and that would oh, kind of yeah, slide great. over. So we'll see if I can get something like that going. If not, you'll see it in some episodes. You won't see it in some episodes. We've got it to use it whenever we can. But yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> There's not really much to go off for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man is there anything else you want to talk about kind of about music and how you've gone about doing all of it um not much I mean I got some big things planned this year hopefully if everything turns out right I can't announce anything yet because if I announce something and I say a date and it doesn't happen I'm okay. gonna look like a liar. Without a date, are we talking like an album, or are we talking? Oh, you're trying to get it out of me. Just a little bit. Yes, I am working on an album. I've been working on an album for fucking two years. <laughs> yeah. It's just getting the time to do it. I mean, and it's it's kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's uh, I got 22 songs at the moment, which is a pretty big album. Um, hopefully everything turns out great. I got some, uh, great artists that I got to work with, like our buddy Nick Palmer, who goes by Forrest, mm -hmm. and uh, he makes songs, he's great. Yeah. He's got some big Drake vibes. He's gonna it's hate that I said that, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's still funny, but, yeah, especially with what's really been going good. on. With I mean, Jackson Gordon, Jackie G, he's gonna be on there. Um, and then uh, another name, I don't wanna say just yet, because it'll be a surprise. Okay. She's never done anything. So it's me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think we got two songs actually. So hopefully it all turns out well. I'm pretty excited. The songs that we made are pretty fun. So yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be cool. Yeah, that's what I got. That's what I got planned. Hopefully. I mean, from going from what you were saying about posting a song every few months or whatever, having to be able to put out a full album. Yeah, and honestly, if like. Because, like, honest, that wasn't me farting, by the way. That was the chair. <laughs> Even if you did, it would have been funny. <laughs> um, fuck, what was I going to say? Uh, we said something about every two months and then... Oh, yeah, now. okay. So even if this album doesn't come to... <laughs> fuck off, Nikki. I'm, I'm stuck trying to get you. something out here. I'm stuck on you fucking possibly farting over there. I can't Continue. do it again. Maybe it was a fart. I don't know. Again. Anyway... Even if the album doesn't come out, I will be releasing every song as singles anyway. Fuck you. You can't. Don't fucking drink your Pepsi and look at me like that. I'm just getting sexual in here. This is a library. <laughs> say what you were going to say again. I won't interrupt again. Okay. <laughs> God. It was 
was just out of nowhere. The technical sound, difficulties already. The sound came out of nowhere. I know it did come. I just I moved my leg a little bit, and that's what happened. I knew it wasn't a fart. But you're like, I promise I didn't fart. Well, I had to make me. sure everybody knew. God, if it was a fart, I would say something, though, for sure. <laughs> I ripped my pants. <laughs> anyway. To the album. The album. If I can't get it released this year, just expect a lot of singles coming out. Because I already got about four or five songs mixed right now. Yeah, the mixing just takes forever. Just because. I, Jackson, he, he's like, he works on Fiverr, so uh, he has a lot of other clients. Mm -hmm. So uh, usually he gets my stuff done in about five, six days. But it's getting it mixed in five or six days and then going to the studio, recording everything I can, and then sending it to him. It just takes a while. That's why I only got like five or six songs mixed. But I mean, I still got another, what, 11, 10 ish months. Mm. So hopefully I can get at least more than half of them done. I have I have more than half of them like recorded. I just have a lot of them that need mixed. So on the basic level, what is mixing for mixing, viewers? Okay, so mixing is uh, once you have a beat all put together, there's a guy who's a, like a mix and mastering engineer who goes in oh. and he adds like plugins to make you sound cool or sound good. So like where the auto tune. So like reverb, auto tune. I don't use auto tune. It's sort of. It's good. I use Melodyne, which is like a natural auto tune, but since I can hit the keys, uh, it doesn't sound like there's auto tune. It yeah, it smooths it out a lot. Um, I know Jackson, however, he does use auto tune and he uses Melodyne, and it's perfect because Melodyne's great. You can use Melodyne with everything. Okay. And he doesn't have a bad voice or nothing, but just the way he likes to mix his songs, he's very inspired by Juice World. So I'm I'm more of just like I like it kind of raw. Mm -hmm. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Come on, give me some. Um. <laughs> <laughs> we're back to cock talk. God damn Hell it. yeah! I told it looped around. Well, no, that was the shit we were talking. Well, we can get well, back on that. It did loop. <laughs> oh, Christ. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what mixing is. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's, that's the beat process is, you know, a whole different story. Yeah, I didn't really get into that, but you know, I feel like doing beats is hard because I see people on like the little little sound deck things where you've got the buttons. Yeah, we don't use those, unfortunately. We want one because uh, he, because Bryce likes doing shit like smooth and stuff. Mm -hmm. We we just use FL Studio, and he knows how to play piano. And if you know how to play piano, you can pretty much use any instrument because you can turn a piano into any instrument. That's true. But yeah, we like there's a there's a website called Looperman that we find a lot of loops on, um, which are free. I think hopefully if mm -hmm. they're not, then whoops. <laughs> so yeah, we'll find a loop and then he'll add stuff to it. And we use like this thing called Arcade and Omnisphere and Keyscape and all this stupid stuff that costs way too much money. We've poured about like twenty thousand something, thirty thousand dollars maybe into this studio. Including like the equipment and stuff. Yeah, that's that's. I mean, that's equipment. fair. A lot of equipment costs a lot. Tell me about it, bro. Like, I got lucky with some of the equipment that I use, and it's <clears throat> it's not super premium equipment. I mean, it it does what I need it to, which is nice. But, like, I think the camera was, I think the camera and mic together was like five hundred, a little over that, yeah, which is still bad. a lot. That's but, yeah. To me, that sounds point. really cheap. Just because I've spent so much fucking money, and yeah. and the worst part is, we spent all this money on stuff we didn't need to because we didn't know what equipment to get at first. That's so true. we were just buying stuff, thinking, "Oh, this will work," and it wouldn't work. So we spent way too much money on a bunch of mics that we didn't need, interfaces. No. The best investment we bought that we had was uh, we bought a MacBook. So that was nice, yeah. and that thing is still running. Unfortunately, that we have so many songs in there, all the storage space is mm -hmm. freezing the computer. Wow. And we need to get like a USB and put all the songs onto there because it is lagging so bad. Your best bet might be to get like a one of the nice hard drives, not like not one of the little ones. I would get one of the nice like home hard drives, um, not sponsored. Western Digital makes them. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. One of these days. <laughs> but um, we got one of the house that does like the cloud storage, mm -hmm. and you can access it from your phone and everything. That's dope. So. I don't know. I think his is backed up by the cloud, but I'm not too sure, to be honest. I just know we, we've we just made so much stuff, it's just completely destroyed that MacBook. But we've also had it for like three or four years now. So Whenever we do all visit the studio, 
I'll bring up the idea Hell again. Yeah. That'd be perfect. Show See you if some. you can work your magic. Because I know Bryce isn't, he's not a very big computer guy. He I knows how to make, <laughs> yeah, you're an engineer. He knows how to make music. He's an audio engineer, but he's no computer engineer. So. That's fair. And it, that, that's one of those things where you either are or you aren't. Um, from my experience with helping people, yeah. you either are really good with the computers or you're just not. And you can learn it, but mm. it's it, it's one of those kind of uphill slopes where right. or down. I don't know. You you get it really quickly when you start getting into it, but yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun, yeah. So I guess we can move into the uh, the Sonic thing that, <laughs> the that Sonic I brought up earlier. Thing. It's crazy that we're getting a show at the same time. I can't wait. Yeah, to be fair, it is Sonic Three and Knuckles. That's true. I, <laughs> I saw someone post that. I was like. That makes sense. We're right? gonna we're gonna sound like the biggest nerds, but yeah, I we love talk, Sonic. I talked about Pokemon and Power World the last episode. That's true. I'm not a big fan of Pokemon, but it's Sonic. Like, not everyone is. Hell yeah. Uh oh. I apologize. I don't know what that sound is. It's somebody using the bathroom, probably. Same dude at Subway. I don't know. If you hear that for a bit, I apologize. It should go away. I don't know what it is. Um. Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts more than it's gonna drive <laughs> you guys nuts. <laughs> We're gonna take a bit of a pause and hope it goes away. If it doesn't go away, it's we'll, we'll just be right back. Yeah, with just it. blame Nikki. Yeah, you can blame me. All right, we're back. The sound is gone, thankfully. Um, also, I apologize if you hear like a creaking noise almost throughout the video. That's it my should, cock hitting the table. Sorry about that. It should be gone now. Yeah, we took care of it. He took care of it. <laughs> <laughs> he asked and asked, but I I turned him down, unfortunately. Don't lie. Unfortunately for both of us. You're lying. You're lying to your <laughs> audience right now. Maybe. We'll let it go. We'll let it go, yeah. But, um, yeah, no, back to the Sonic thing and how you don't like Pokemon, apparently. A loser. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was uncalled for. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's, it's, that's another thing where it's kind of, you either do you don't. There's not really an in-between on that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind Pokemon. I watched the first season. I don't know how many episodes it was, but it felt like a lot. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'm kind of done now. I don't like, watch too much of the show. I watch the movies. The movies are good. I seen Detective Pikachu, and that was it. <laughs> but only because of Ryan Reynolds. That doesn't count. <laughs> that <laughs> movie's good. I it, it. it was good. We'll have to watch a couple of Aren't them. Aren't they making a second one? I thought they were. I know they made a game. They did make a game. I think they made two, actually. Well, the well, one's for like the DS or something. Well, they're and well, they're yeah. making one for the Switch, I believe. Yeah, the one for the Switch just came out. The one for the DS has been out for a while, obviously. See, I never was into the Pokemon games besides the Pokemon Go. So that Pokemon was, Go fun. was fun. That was that was great when it came out, when everyone was actually having fun and enjoying oh, yeah. everything, and then it died down. It did die off pretty bad. And then with COVID, when that <clears> happened, <throat> it went back and forth for whatever reason. Um, I won't go into the analytics of it because it was yeah. it, it's not going to be very interesting. It's just it it sucked for a while. Yeah. But um, with Sonic at least it's it's cool that they're doing a movie and a show at the same time. God, I love Sonic. I'm so excited for Shadow to be. Dude, in. I know. You know, there's rumors that Darth Vader himself is going to be voicing Shadow. That'd be pretty sick. That'd be awesome. The one part that I worry about though is. For people that don't know about Shadow kind of lore, I guess, <laughs> when he was created, the scientists who created him had a daughter or a granddaughter. She gets she shot. Yep, Maria. She gets just assassinated. Um, Which is Eggman's cousin. But they have a little girl in the cast that we think is going to they be. They better shoot her point blank. I want to see her die. Well, in the, in, the, <laughs> in the game, they don't show it. They show them That's holding true. up. They show show a guy holding up. Um, I don't know if you can say that on YouTube. Showing a blaster. We'll call it that. That's true. She does get shot, but then she's like this, and she's on the console that releases Shadow into the world. So right. she's holding her thigh. I'm not not thigh. Her stomach. So she does get shot, but there's no blood because it's just, a kid friendly game. You just hear, well, I don't know if it's kid. It's rated in. No, it's not. I swear. Adventure Two is not rated. No, not in. That was in uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, it was in both. I think Adventure Two is where it ha uh, where it started. I think Shadow is rated T. I don't think it's rated M. We'll have to double check that. It does say hell and damn though. He cusses every time he dies, <laughs> which sucked every time I died because it was a lot. I hate that game. 
I'm sorry. When I See, the gameplay itself isn't too bad. It was more or less. Well, my problem is I didn't like Sonic Heroes, and Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog are like the I same loved game. I Sonic Heroes. I'm sorry, man. But it, I couldn't get through the other storylines. There's like the main storyline for the game, mm. and then there's two. There's a villain, and then there's a hero arc. I couldn't figure out how to branch off. <laughs> you had to get so many points throughout the main storyline as sure? a hero. Villain. Yeah. I thought you guys got to pick from the start. Mm -mm. And you know, there's five episodes. Because if you do all of their stories, you get to play one final battle. For oh no, yeah. I'm just talking about the Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. Oh oh yeah, there's like fucking like twenty of those stories or something there, like There's that. twenty like blocks, but there's only like three lines. There's the yeah. main one, there's the hero, and there's the villain. But in order to get into those separate ones, I think you have to like kill every. You gotta gotta do all the stories just to get that last one. Yeah, there's like mini quests that were almost impossible to do. Yeah. I don't. I never beat that game. I got too bored of it. I didn't beat it. If they remaster it so that the controls are a little better, I might be able to do it. I mean, they are making a Sonic X Shadow Generations. I'm excited for that. I am too. I love I, Generations. I didn't play the original Generations. Really? What? Yeah. Dude, that game is fucking top tier. Yeah, I didn't. I I heard it was one of the better ones. Oh yeah, it's great. It's when everybody thought Sonic was gonna make good games, and then he fucking made bad games afterwards. Yeah. And then he finally made Frontiers. Thank God. Frontiers was good. And Mania. Mania and Frontiers definitely fixed it. Um, the newest one that they just put out. Superstars. It's, um, I didn't play it. I started it, and then it was like all the other old games. I was like, okay, I'm bored. Yeah, see, that's how I felt. Like, I'm not going to buy that. But with Generations, since I haven't played it, it'll be perfect. Dude, you'll love Generations. Generations is great. Yeah. If you like Sonic Unleashed, you'll love Generations. See, so I started Unleashed, but I never actually owned the game, so I've never played it all the way through. I know, I've never beat it either, and it only because of those fucking medals. You have to collect medals just to get to another level, and I was just so lazy to find the other medals, I didn't want to do it. So I got like really close, and I was like, okay, I'm bored now. Sonic in the Black and I did finish, though. I know what, I didn't play that one, I played Secret Rings, unfortunately. I played that one, too, I finished that one. That one, I did finish that one, and I didn't have a good time. But they did have that Mario Party, like, uh, mode for that game. It was either, maybe it was Black Knight. But there was a Mario Party mode for Secret Rings or Black Knight. Yeah, Rings. it was Secret Rings. Yeah, and that um, was awesome. Black Knight, they had something like that, but you just fought each other. That's cool. You just sort of fine. But, yeah. Both the storylines were really good. The music was phenomenal. Speaking of... And they had the best voice for Sonic, Jason Griffith. Mm -hmm. Crush 40 is going to be in the new movie. I know. They're putting Live and Learn, bro. Well, I don't know if it's that song. They just said Crush 40. They said it was going to live and learn. Did they? Yeah. I'm excited. So, I hope it's like a, a remastered version so it all sounds really clean and smooth. And new. Oh, yeah. Put a little twist in it. That'd be dope. Yeah. yeah I, I'm uh, kind of upset they're not doing the Adventure 1 storyline. They're going straight to 2. Uh, they might. I want to see chaos. Who knows? Maybe they might do better. They might add a little bit to it. I hope so. Because with chaos being in the Sonic Generations with Shadow, chaos is in that. He is. He's just one boss fight, though. You don't fight him very often. He might pop up. Or they'll make a fourth. God. I hope they make a fourth, but unfortunately, I feel like Jim Carrey's going to stop after this movie. He might keep doing the Sonic movies just because they're... He did say, he was like, if the script is good enough, he'll do it. And then he, he took on Sonic 3, so... Yeah. It must be a really good script, is all I'm saying. And I'll be there opening night. Right. I don't blame him for not wanting to do, like, new movies and stuff, but, like... Already being in a series, I, I yeah, think I feel like he has to finish it off. I feel like the trilogy is probably gonna be. Like, it's either gonna be the last one or they're gonna branch the TV shows. I think he enjoyed it too, though. I think so. Like too. a lot of he looks like he's it. having fun. Yeah. He's also hilarious in those movies. I love Jim Carrey. A lot of people don't. I know. I don't understand it. I love Jim Carrey. It's great. But you know, these these movies or the movie and the show. I don't know how the show's gonna go, but the movie I'm excited for. The show looks okay. It looks animated the same way. Or CGI the same way? I think they. I think uh, all the characters kind of look a little bit older now. I think it's been yeah. a few months. At least Sonic looks older, but maybe it's just because of the budget for the TV show. I think they're going to aim to do that just because he looks too much like a kid in the first yeah, one. Yeah, I hope they kind of make him a little bit older yeah. in the next movie. I don't know. Like, I, I understand making him realistic, but they could have made him realistic and still use, like, the 3D models that they have because they already look realistic. So you know what bugs me about his model? Sonic has his, well, his arms are blue. I don't like that. I want him to have his tan arms. Oh, yeah, they are, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, you know, I like that his eyelids are blue. No. Yeah. But his arms, they got to be tan. Are they tan in the games? The uh, eyelids? Yeah. You I, know that? I don't think I've ever seen his eyelids. Yeah, his, 
I think it's most of the modern ones are, hmm. they're tan. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. The tan ones are weird. I don't like it either, to be honest. But it'd be weird if it didn't blink either, so I guess I'll deal with it. That's true. Considering I didn't notice that he had tan eyelids. <laughs> all the classic ones are tan. Uh, he's always, I don't know, he does wink a lot. He does wink a lot. So, so I think they've been making him blue in, the, in the okay. mode, like these newer games, but they used to like, uh, I think the adventure games, his were tan. So uh, you're going to hate me for this. I haven't played the adventure games. That's probably why I didn't know. <laughs> I want to. I think I've got them on you're Steam. You're disappointing me, man. I think I've got they're them amazing. on Steam. They're the best ones. What we need to do is we just need to have a, um, a weekend where we just play through them. So I'll bring my computer. We'll just play just through. Have fun with Big the Cat because he's a fucking asshole. Dude, fucking is. I don't know if it's Advan Adventure or 06 where you have to get froggy. That's uh, Adventure 1. Is it? Yeah. I saw um, the Game Grumps playing. Yeah, dude, they, shit that on, they shit on Sonic froggy. so much. <laughs> I love it. So it was much. really funny, their, their Let's Play. I watched it, yeah. I don't think it was so much they were shitting on it. They just weren't good at it. Because dude, it was, whoever's it was I don't fun. know who's playing, but he is so bad at every game he plays. I, uh, Aaron, I think? Possibly. I, think I just know when I watched his Frontiers uh, playthrough, and he didn't know how to Siloop for like five episodes. And it's the first thing you learn. Don't you aren't you forced to learn yes. his combos at the beginning? Yes. So why, I it was driving me nuts. I hate games where they make combos that are almost impossible to figure out in the beginning, and then you just can't finish. The I know game. there's a whole tutorial right there for you in that game. I don't know how he missed it. I I don't know. That's wild. That's the, like the whole thing about the frontiers was the side loop. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's a pain in the ass. God, we're fucking nerds, dude. <laughs> hey man, it's better Sonic than like. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to make Genshin it. Impact? I'll say it. Fuck that game. I haven't played it in a while. Here comes I, all, I'm, we're getting all the hate now. But I did real. play Genshin Impact. Oh, I've been playing Star Rail. It was made by the same company, but it's different. You oh, actually go okay. to space and stuff. It's cool. What is what is that? Is that only PC based? or? It's on PS5 as well. I play Xbox. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I think they had planned on putting it on the Switch whenever Genshin came out. And it just, it never happened. I just think it's too demanding of a game. Yeah, I just, I'm not a big fan of the anime. That's fair. I love anime. But I'll tr I tried to get into it. I, I watched one, it was called Erased, and that one was pretty good. Dude, Erased was so good. I, oh, I've seen that. Okay, we're not going to give me a mental crisis over a show. Erased was pretty good. It's, I was pretty, uh, my buddy recommended it for I me was just to start off with. I was semi pissed like, okay. about the ending, but we're going to Yeah, it was a little she could have waited. Whatever. And then I think I watched two seasons of Attack on Titan, and then I just kind of fell off because I didn't want to read anymore. I'll have to give you That's some. That's my problem, man. I, like, I only want to watch it if it's dubbed, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. Yeah, I, yes and no. A lot of people only like dubbed. A lot of people only like subbed. I personally like both. I just like enjoying my time. I think that some of the sub actors are better, That's but true. I also think some of the dub actors you, are better. You know who I hate the most as the Japanese like sub mm -hmm. or actor? It's for Goku. He's so high pitched. The Japanese one? Yeah, he's so high pitched, dude. The guy, the American dude. I, it also might be a great. woman. A lot of. It the, is a woman. A lot right. of the Japanese ones and a lot of cartoons that are English as well, a lot of the boys are women. I know. Which is cool. Yep, that is dope. But, I don't know. I like Goku's English voice actor. Dude, his, he kills it, man. So does uh, Vegeta's. Oh, yeah. He also does All Might. I think all he, does he do Piccolo, too? I think so. He does it all, man. He's crazy. Um, favorite Dragon Ball character, and then we'll we'll move on to the gift, and then uh, favorite Dragon Ball character. Dragon Ball character. I don't watch a lot of Dragon Ball, but I'd have to say uh, Gohan. The same. I love the Dragon Cell. Ball. I like Teen Gohan though. He was badass. I liked the uh, Cell games oh, okay. when he finally got yeah, into like Cell was crazy, dude. And then um, my favorite villain would probably be either Cell or. Uh, What's the cat's name? I forget. Oh, um, God damn it. You asked me, and now I can't remember. God. I know here's what yeah, I'm blanking. The purple one. Because that fight with Goku was sick. Uh, something to destroy our worlds. Beerus. Beerus. There it is. Yeah. Got him. Um, I know a lot of people like Brody. Broly. Broly, whatever. Brody. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> Cut it. Cut it? <laughs> Cut it's it. staying in. Fuck. But 
There's right. a new movie out, a semi new movie out for uh, Dragon Ball, and Gohan gets a new form. Oh, what was it again? Beast Mode. Beast Mode. It's, what, what it's like Gohan hair? Beast. It's like, uh, it's whitish purple. Uh, okay. It's cool. But, um, yeah. As per usual, um, we do gifts for our people's first appearance. So I'm going to do the gift. I, I don't know if I've been doing it before or after the games, but this time we'll do it before. Here you are. Oh, God. <laughs> kind of goes with some of the stuff we've been talking about. I fucking called him. <laughs> is this Sanic? Dude, this is fucking hilarious. I actually love this. <laughs> it's a I, jacket. I don't know if it'll fit. I got a medium, hoping it I'm would. a large. Are you? Yeah, but that's okay. Dude, it's a zip-up, so it might still fit. That's sick. Check that out. <laughs> Bro. I still love that this was referenced in the first movie. Where did you even get this? Amazon. Amazon. Is there Amazon packaging? That's fucking hilarious. I love this. Thank you, Nikki. No problem. Of course. A handshake. I don't know why we're handshaking, but I will go with that. I didn't, you know I don't wash my hands. Ah. Uh, but I'm never washing this hand again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to set up for the game. We'll be back. Bye, guys. Welcome back, everyone. Hey Today, guys. we're going to be playing <laughs> Speak Out, if you couldn't tell from the mouth guard in his mouth right now. It's really difficult to get in. I don't know what he said, but that's going to be a problem for the game. Um, so, the goal of the game is for the person to read while this is in, and the person on the other side has to guess what they're saying. So, we're going to try to do three, three to five within the time limit on this guy. So, uh, yeah, we'll just do one round with that and just get as many as you can. doesn't matter if you get three or not. All right, I'm going to pop All this right. in. Oh, I don't need to pop this in. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Go for it. All right, ready? Yep. You want to just go start the time? And whenever you start talking. Okay. Weasels like Courtly Hedge. <laughs> Weasels like... Courtly Hedge. Currently Hairs? Courtly Hedge. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> uh, fried Fish and Quahog Clams. Fried Fish... And something clams. Quahog. Quahog? Okay. Hell yeah. Uh, what a ooey trap. What? <laughs> what a ooey trap. Skip. Uh, music makes grandma boogie. Music makes grandma boogie? Hell yeah. Oh shit. Which one is that? Yeah. Scoop up, learn honey. What? Scoot up more money. Scoodles out more money? <laughs> Save the onion dip for me. <laughs> Save the onion dip for me. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I want a beefy burrito. I want a beefy burrito. Okay, that's it. You're out of time. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm taking this out. Don't get the drool on the mic. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. I just got it on the table. That's fine. I'll wipe it down. I want to use my new Sonic the Hedgehog napkin. <laughs> it's fine in the washout. It's God, that was really gross. <laughs> All right, now use mine. No. Please? No. I don't have diseases that we know of. No. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Pop this puppy in. Oh, shit. Whoops. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not a nicotine addict. It's okay. He's quitting. Yeah. I'm also old enough. 22. Don't, this, don't this do drugs, kids. This looks kind of just... Yeah, wow, you look beautiful. Don't. Thank you. I could just kiss you right now. I know you didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Don't, don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. He's quitting. Trying, at least. Yeah. Oh, this is awful. Okay. Uh, you want me to do it? I got it. Okay, you got it? I'm a pineapple on uh, my pizza. You love pineapple on your pizza? Uh, uh, your bedroom is a pigsty. Your bedroom is a pigsty. I volunteer to get squished. What? I volunteer. I volunteer to get squished. Who <laughs> and not to the. That's not happening. <laughs> that only is a day. What? <laughs> Fucking speak up. <laughs> Hurry. I need a window washing. I need a window washing? Either. What? Either. I need a window washing here? You got the rest of it right. Either. Feeder? Either. Wheeler? Oh, shit. Okay, skip it. 
Pico is a fun game. Something is a fun game what? Pico. Pico? Pico. Peek a uh, Oh, Pikachu is a fun game? Pika Pika is a good game? Peek a uh, Oh, we fucking lost already. Uh, we're gonna get this one. Uh, we're, we're getting this one. Peek. Chic. No, you are right the first time. Peek. Uh. Peekaboo is a good game. Okay, I'm taking that. All right. Well, how did we get? We, I got you. Got four. I got four. Okay. Well, that's that's how that went. Ugh. Look at that battery. Less than ten percent. Yeah, it's okay. We're we're coming to a close, anyways. True. Oh man, that was great. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope that picks up on Spotify right. beautifully. I feel bad for whoever has to sit at this desk next. No, we're gonna clean it up. It's fine. <laughs> but um, thank you all for joining. Uh, do you have anything that you want to, any advice you want to give to anyone that wants to get into music, considering that's what this, um, this was about? If you want to get into music, do it. You're going to be judged by everyone around you, and you're just going to have to get used to that, and then eventually you'll make something good, so just try. Only, no, wait, no try. Only do. Yoda would approve. Yoda. Bars. Bars. There I'm dropping bars. Just drop the fat bar. Right Prison here on the chat bars. sphere. Dropping bars. Hell yeah. Candy bars. See, I just did I'm it. I'm about to you drop my it. pants. I'm here you did. Anyways, thank you all for watching. <laughs> we hope to see you again on the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a comment. Um, give us some ideas for the next episode. Uh, leave a like. Um, I say hit that bell, but we come out every other Tuesday. Or not every... Wow, I'm having a stroke. Every other Friday... Listen to Corey the Cool. Listen to Corey the Cool. Thank you. Oh, I will be putting his new song in the outro. And if you guys want to check out his music and enjoy that, feel free. Okay. I'll link him in the description. Hell yeah. All of you have a good day. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the Super Bowl and Valentine's Day and whatever's happening. Will you be my Valentine? Of course. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs>